Well, now that it's finally warming up, people are starting to think about their summer vacations. I know I am, but getting away can be expensive. So here to help us set a budget is Robert Christensen. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate you being here, especially, you know, I've been thinking about vacation and what I should be doing. What's like maybe the biggest tip to help me save for that vacation? You know, the biggest thing I'd say is start early and create a, a budget. Um, so uh, think about some of the costs associated with uh, the trip that you want to go on. And um, the biggest mistake folks make is, is sometimes it's those miscellaneous costs that, uh, that kind of mm. creep up while they're away on vacation. You, you, the worst thing is coming back from two weeks away, come back to a big credit card bill filled with you know, miscellaneous costs <laughs> yeah. that, uh, that they didn't account for while they were away. Oh, I think when people are on vacation, they're so willing just to say, Okay, this is a rising, whatever. Yeah. You know, throw on the money and I'll deal with it later. I know there's a couple things we're going to put up on our screen right now mm -hmm. uh, on things that you should be thinking about when you're setting that budget, um, like hotels, airfare, entry fees, food and beverage, tipping, transportation, travel insurance. Um, how do you comprehend all of that as a traveler? Yeah, no kidding. I mean, and, and, and some of these costs, I mean, hotels and airfare, typically we, we, budget, we do a good job budgeting for that because that's going to get us to the destination. Right. Um, entry fees will get us into the parks and the festivals, that type of thing. But it's, it's sometimes it's those little costs, like while you're on site, you need uh, to budget costs for food and beverages. It's just things that, uh, that slip your mind. And uh, that, that can really add up uh, um, while you're away on a you know, week or two weeks uh, trip. I know for me, it's always transportation. Yeah. So whenever I travel yeah. in like Latin America, for example, yeah. taking taxis everywhere, maybe it's only three bucks away, but it adds up. Totally, right? it totally adds up. And one thing you want to think about too, if, especially if you're heading overseas or, or out of country, is travel insurance. It's, it's super important. You want to spend your time away, not worrying about uh, you know, if something were to happen, you know, what would you do? Uh, travel insurance can really help eliminate that worry. So then with those miscellaneous costs <clears throat> that you may just happen to incur while you're gone, should you just set a set amount, okay, I'm going to put you know, 500 extra dollars in my budget to deal with this stuff. Is that yeah. kind of the best way to go? Yeah, that is a good idea. Yeah, for sure. And once you have a good sense of, of you know, what your budget looks like, you know, the best thing you can do is, is start early and start saving for that trip uh, in advance, especially if it's a bucket list kind of a trip, mm -hmm. a big trip, and you have time on your side. Uh, you'd be surprised at how quickly, you know, setting uh, a little money aside each paycheck will really add up and, and make sure that you have enough funds uh, available to, to pay for that bucket list trip. And before we let you go, let's talk about another group of people that are pretty excited right now, yeah. <laughs> students who are graduating. Yeah, right? right on. So we're on that time of year. Uh, what's your advice to people that are going to be entering the workforce? Yeah, no kidding. I mean, it kind of makes me reflect on, on when I left university and entered the, the workforce. You know, grads are going through this time where they're, they're moving away from their part-time job that they used to, to pay their way through school and into a career and hopefully a career that, uh, that they studied in. And so, you know, one thing, one thing I'd say and what we tell our members all the time is if, if you're going through any sort of life change, a job change, or maybe starting your first career, it's a good opportunity to pause, reflect on your financial situation, uh, and maybe come in and talk to a financial advisor about some of your short-term or your long-term goals. A short-term goal for a grad might be buying a new car or saving up for a down payment on a home, or a long-term goal might be retirement. Right. Um, and retirement could, could seem like a lifetime away for a new grad, uh, but uh, you know, the fact is, if you start early, you will be on track to, uh, to retire on, on uh, your timeline. Um, um, and with some advice from a financial advisor, you can use your retirement savings and your RSP towards a down payment uh, uh, for your first home through the home buyer's plan. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, sitting down with a financial advisor, talking through your goals, that's a great way to, uh, to, to kind of get on the right track. And it's tough situation. because that first job, even though maybe you're not making a lot of money, it's the first time maybe you are making money at all. Like yeah. real money, right? So, right on. Yeah. Like, it, learning how to spend it is pretty important. For sure. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thanks so much. To find out more, uh, you can go to service.ca. Robert Christensen from Service Credit Union. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Okay, thank you.